did a long exploration trek and uh, today was very similar to spacewalking actually although of course it was cave walking you really rely on your equipment your uh, tethers your ascenders descenders and uh, if you make a mistake the consequences here are quite critical just as they are in a real spacewalk we are timeline for about eight hours of exploration and that's about the same duration of a spacewalk and uh, interestingly the tether protocol that we use for cave walking it consists of two lunges, two short lengths of tether on your left side, uh, one longer than the other, and that's very, very much like the Russian Orlon EVA. And I have done two spacewalks in that Russian Orlon EVA, and it, uh, it seems actually somewhat familiar uh, because of that. The other thing is that you have to be incredibly aware of your body position and what's around you, so you have to have a positional awareness so that you don't hit anything or hurt the equipment that's on your back, uh, in this case a rucksack and in a real spacewalk it's the, uh, the same, almost the same size, the uh, life support pack that's on your back. And you also have to keep very close attention to your equipment that you have and uh, if you're going up or down a very steep shaft it all must be tethered to you just like in a real spacewalk. You definitely don't want to lose anything here because you will not see it again most likely. And if you do see it again, it probably will be in pieces at the bottom of a shaft. And I would also say it's uh, fairly exhausting. When you get to the end of a six or eight hour spacewalk, you, you really are, are tired and hopefully uh, very happy with your work. And I think that's exactly how we all feel right now. Mm -hmm. 